custom houses for you. So this is Shane, and once again, he's doing his thing. Ready? The armed cyclist at work. After 35 miles. He's a slave driver. Rest going on fitness. Upper body. Arm cyclist hitting the shoulder press. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> We're just talking about all the lines of my forehead. Rest. There we go again. Slaving away. Rest. Now this is where you get abs of steel. Doing stuff like this is how I pedaled my bicycle from South Dakota to West Palm Beach, Florida, 1992 miles that I talked about this morning. Switch. Being able to haul uh, 120 pounds of gear, so I had all the comforts of home on my bicycle trip with me. Just doing stuff like this. Upper body strength when you're biking. Really important too. Allows you to get up the hills, even though your legs do most of the work. This helps you a whole lot too. Some of the toughest hills are in the uh, Ozarks. Rest. Exercise in the back is really important too, according to Shane. This helps you get up the hills and overall posture. Is that right, Shane? Oh, yeah. Anything you want to add? I'm a cyclist on the TRX. Ah. Two more. So I said before, this is where you get abs of steel. Good core strength helps you with cycling. And you get all these different angles as well, which is sort of cool. You want to add anything, Shane? No? Why not? Thank you. We were just talking about the crockpot on TV. It's going to blow up on you if you don't recall it. You don't send it back. Different angle on the uh, abs. Taking a break, taking a water break. <laughs> <laughs> Doing more laterals here. Repetitive exercise. Stuff like this allows you to ride 40, 50, 80 miles a day. Rest.